welcome to Bologna, Italy, foodie heaven. I promise you. And in this video, we're going to show you what to eat and where to eat it in this amazing, small, intimate, beautiful food city. Let's go. Five minutes into arriving, we already saw that this city is so much about food. All these narrow streets like this one behind me, with food shops, with restaurants, so many restaurants, so much good food. And we already tasted some today. We're going to show you all in this video. So subscribe right now because we stuff our faces all around the world. That's where the name Stuffer comes from. And right now it's Bologna, Italy. So let's just eat. Bologna is famous for a few things that originate from this city and mortadella is one of them. We are having lunch at Grassili, a really nice little restaurant and I'm having mortadella as a starter. A little bit sad, just like a little bunch of sausage on a plate but we separated the cheese from the sausage because I don't like cheese and Tim is having the cheese that comes with it. This is the sausage, mortadella and Nala smells the sausage as well. <laughs> So this is the mortadella that comes from Bologna and normally you could get it on focaccia or schiacciaccia on a sandwich and you'll have it thinly sliced but this is cubed for a little starter just to get a little Bologna flavor. Mm. Ooh. Oh, this is really nice. I like it. They call it the salami of Bologna. It's more like a boiled sausage. It's not grilled, it's not, not smoked, it's not but it's more like a boiled thing. I really like this type of sausages. It's totally different from salami or any other sausage that you'll eat. Those are more thick and cured and, and chewy, but this is really smooth and I like it very much. So I'm having my very first risotto in Italy, in Bologna, and this is a really special one. It's not on the regular menu, it's only a, a, a menu of the day, and it's a risotto with melon. Never had that before. It looks awesome. Oh, really big chunks of melon in there. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay, I've never had a risotto like this. It's really sweet because of the melon. I can still really taste the cheese. It's a really awesome combination of savory and sweet. Wow. Absolutely stunning. If they have it on the menu when you are here, you have to order this. Definitely. So another specialty from Bologna is tortellini. And you know them. Those are those little rolled up dough balls or pasta balls filled with anything. In my case, there's meat inside. But this is tortellini in brodo, which is in broth, in a soup form. So super local, super traditional. And it's my first time ever having tortellini in a soup. So I'm actually very excited. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. The broth alone is really nice and, and flavorful. It is just like a really nice layered dish or something when it comes into your mouth. You first have that salty broth that comes in then the pasta, because there's not a lot of other things in it. It's just the broth and the pasta. And then the meat comes through when you bite open the tortellini. Mm. But of course you can also get a regular tortellini with a ragu or a bolognese sauce, because of course bolognese in Bologna. Check that out as well. But this is actually really nice. And I think it's a really nice lunch dish, actually. <laughs> Coffee lovers, pay attention because in Bologna they have a shop called Aroma Specialty Coffees. I'm not a coffee drinker, but this sounded so amazing that I wanted to try it because it's Sabayona, the, the white wine, whipped cream, egg nutty kind of dessert that they mix in with an espresso. Look at this beautiful fancy coffee and there's a lot of cream and only a little bit of coffee so I think I'll be fine. I'm just gonna try. Ooh, it's really thick cream. I love that. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love coffee flavor in ice cream or in coffee beans or chocolate beans. And this is just that. Uh, there's not too much coffee in it. And it has that white wine cream custardy 
egg nutty kind of vibe. <gasps> I'm blown away, honestly. I hope you can tell by my reaction, but... Do I have it on my chin? Yeah. Oh my god, they had so many different flavors. It really took me a long time to make a choice, and I still don't know if I made the right choice. But I got three flavors. I got Biscotto de la Nonna, which sounds amazing, because we love Torta de la Nonna. But this time it's with cookies and chocolate. And I got Salted Pistachio Pesto as ice cream. So we are at Cremaria La Vecchia Stella in Bologna. I'm having my first gelato and it looks amazing. Let me see. I think this is the Biscotto della Nonna. Mmm, really nice and creamy. Crunchy cookies inside, which I also like sometimes. Mmm, really nice. And now maybe the most special one, the Pistachio Pesto ice cream. Oh, this is crazy. You're having gelato, but there's no, nothing, nothing sweet about it. It's really completely salty, but it's really, it's still quite, quite nice actually. Wow, I've never had such salty ice cream before. It's really like a, almost like a mind fuck or something, but it's really, really nice. I can definitely recommend the, to try the salty pistachio because pistachio is one of the most classic flavors and everybody gets it. But this time it's only salty and not sweet, so it's really something different. And if you like pistachio in real life, then why not go for this? I would, I would eat it again. Bologna has two food markets, Mercato di Mezzo and Mercato delle Erbe. We are at Mercato della Erbe. Actually, this is the one that we prefer. It has a nicer vibe and it's larger and it has more food stalls to choose from. But the other one, Mercato di Mezzo, also looked really good and had some really good food there. So you can go to either one for a nice lunch and pick your favorite and have some amazing food. There are so many little restaurants, little shops in this Mercato della Erbe, and we found Sfarina, which is a piadina, which is those really flat bread, almost like a pita bread, but even flatter, I think. They go through like one of those wranglers, and they stretch it out the dough to make it really flat. Then they bake the bread really short on a grill, and then they add the filling. You can have it with all the fillings, the classical fillings and stuff, but we went for a uh, vegetarian option, and this is a eggplant parmigiano. So I'm really curious. The bread looks really fresh. Mm. Mm. This is such a nice lunch. I think these food markets are a perfect place to get some lunch. You can get like different little snacks everywhere. I love this. Flavor, really good. I would definitely try one of the other flavors here as well. But I bet Tim will love this because he's vegetarian. So second stop at Mercato delle Erbe. Uh, we are at Superforno, so we're having some amazing pizza. They have a lot of different options. They even have ones with potatoes and they also have classic ones like margarita. And they also have those like gourmet ones. And this is of course vegetarian and this is with uh, ricotta and mozzarella and zucchini and eggplants. So uh, yeah. let's go. Nice and crunchy bottom layer, but the rest really nice and fluffy. The taste is also really good. Mm, really nice with the ricotta, really creamy. And I think I've never had ricotta on a pizza before. Works, works quite well. And uh, the good thing is, you can choose as much as you want. So this is only like a few bites because we want to try different things. And this is only like three euros. So you can just choose how much you want and it's not that expensive. Perfect. <laughs> Next stop in Bologna, we are at Simoni, which is a restaurant where they sell a lot of ham and cheese. And something really special, I'm opening it up now, which is a tigellini. And a tigellini are little sandwiches. They are served warm. And you can get them anywhere here in Bologna, but they have these little marks on it, stamps. And that's the stamp of the shop that sells it. 
and we ordered a tagliere, which is a platter filled with ham and cheese. I have to admit, it looks like there's a little bit more ham on it than cheese. Poor Tim, but he will get more bread and at least there's quite some uh, cheese on it. I'm gonna stuff my first cigellini with some mortadella. Like I said earlier in the video, mortadella is the ham from Bologna. So, and this one is not cube, it's sliced. So that's also nice to try. And I'm gonna try it in one of those little breads that are very, is very local. So you'd have to get these bread with the stems. It looks really cute as well, right? Mm. Mm. I like the bread because the stamp, it gives it a bit of a crunch on the outside. It reminds me a little bit of like a, like a grilled cheese kind of texture. It's really nice. The texture outside gives it a real distinct eating experience. The flavor is bread, but it, the, it's the experience of the crunch. Mm. And the mortadella inside is amazing. I just love mortadella. But I also have some cured ham, some raw ham here which will be amazing in one of these little breads. So I can't wait to be trying all of this, but I won't film it for you because that's boring. You'll just have to come here and taste it for yourself. We love having breakfast from a local bakery when we are traveling, and so, of course, the same in Italy. First, we are starting off with a very typical dish. It's a torta de riso, so a rice cake. It's quite big, and you get a spoon with it. It's quite thick. The texture is also really dense. There's a lot of texture going on, it's like super, you can really taste the rice. There's really a lot in there, it's, it, it's very super dense, like the, the whole texture. It's quite nice, it's nice and sweet, but not too sweet. I like it. I have another regional baked good, it's called an Ofella, and this one is with apple and cream. I think the form looks really interesting, it almost looks like a hat or something, a top hat. I will bite on this side because then they have all the layers. Mmm. It's a lot gooier than I thought. Like the top, uh, the bottom layer is really gooey. And this is more like puff pastry almost, but the filling with the apple is really, really nice. Oh, I could eat this more often. It's really nice. I finally found licorice ice cream. We had that once in Rome and it was so good and I've been looking forward to tasting it. But this is the first shop I actually see it. Gelateria. Oggio in Bologna. I'm so happy. Oh, this is so perfect. I took two scoops of the same flavor because I was dying to try this. Oh. If you ever get your hands on licorice ice cream, please try it. It is so good. It is so special, so intense. This is so good. So closing off our food tour in Bologna, of course I had to try the Bolognese sauce because that's what this place is famous for. Bolognese sauce, it's actually called ragu. So if you are in Italy, it's called ragu. But for tourists, they put Bolognese sauce here on the menu. I'm having a lasagna, a lasagna a la Bolognese, so with the Bolognese ragu sauce. Tim is actually having tortellini, which is also regional, local, with sage and butter. It looks really nice as well. And we're at a restaurant called Sfoglia Rina, which is a really nice local and also quite trendy restaurant. It looks really nice from the interior. I'm gonna enjoy my first lasagna actually on this trip. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, really nice. They used green uh, pasta sheets, which gives it a really nice look actually. I'm really happy with my choice and, and I'm happy that I'm closing off this Bologna food tour with this amazing lasagna. Or is there more? You never know if I'm gonna order a dessert, so stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna enjoy this, this is really nice. The ragu, the sauce with the minced meat, the tomato sauce. This is what you, you know, right? It's not something that I can say like it's mind-blowingly new, but the flavors are really nice. Yes! This is a proper way to close off a food tour video because we went back to Mercato Mezzo, which is the other food market here in Bologna. And we saw this earlier that they have a really spectacular looking tiramisu with a lot of cream on top. And this is at the restaurant or at one of the restaurants called Sorelle Ribelli, 
and I'm just gonna enjoy a final tiramisu of our road trip in Italy. Oh, mm. oh the cream on top is really nice and dense cream. The coffee flavor is there, the alcohol is there. It's really nicely balanced. I have to say this is one of the better tiramisus I've had on this trip. I've had around four or five tiramisus. Mm. What I love is that the cookie is there as well. It's not too moist. I've had tiramisus before where the cookie is so moist that you don't even taste the texture anymore. But here you can still taste the texture even though it's very moist. Oh, this is definitely a good one. So if you're craving a tiramisu, go to Mercato di Mezzo. Thank you so much for watching our Bologna food tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and that we gave you some nice inspiration for when you visit. But this city is so amazing. There is so much food. We already discussed we might go back here just for the food. If you want to choose between going to Florence or Bologna, then for us Bologna is definitely a pick. It feels so much more local. It has beautiful historical buildings, but it has amazing restaurants and there's so much more to discover than we did in this video but at least we gave you some highlights and some inspiration so subscribe if you haven't already because we stuff our faces all around the world that's what the name stuffer comes from we had the best time here only two days in bologna but our stomachs are full thanks for watching bye everybody wow really good tiramisu this one